so children today we will discuss about the power okay what is the definition of power power is defined as rate of doing work is called power rate of doing work energy we call it as capacity to do work no children in the same way power is called as rate of doing work is called as power and power children rate means by time in physics rate means what by time rate of doing work means work by time simple children what did i say power means rate no rate in physics means by time children rate in physics means by time so rate of doing work work by time i mean to say work by time is called power children a sir said work i will take only work nothing there like that children different formulas will come how it will come i will show you okay now units what are the units of power work is joules time is seconds instead of saying joule per second every time we can say watt instead of saying the joule per second we can say watt unit of power is watt okay and this is normal unit children commercial unit also there children what is the commercial unit what is the commercial unit of power commercial unit of power is commercial unit of power is hp hp means children horse power if you buy any machines in your houses machines motors in that it will be written this much hp that much hp hp means horse power one horse power is equal to 746 watts children one horse power is equal to 746 watts okay and the units also i told children and the formula also i told definition also i told all the so, things and uh, nana later uh, yeah tell me what is your doubt i yes. hp full form i didn't get horse it so power. can you horse say power. What? horse power hp means horse power hp means horse power children hp means horse power horse h o r s e horse power okay nana so next one power definition is over and uh, coming to this one children next uh, definition is rate of doing work power is work by time and this is units and this is commercial units now coming to dimensional formula as we are doing everywhere dimensional formula also here also we will discuss in your schools they won't discuss dimensional formula children because it is intermediate concept just because from the uh, younger stage only if i tell dimensional formula when you go to intermediate it will become very easy children and also you can gain more knowledge children work i already told ml square t minus 2 if ever you remember work i already told ml square t minus 2 if ever you remember and at time how much i said t time is t bring the t this up children so it will become ml square t minus 3 because when this t comes up minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 is how much children minus 3 so what is the dimensional formula of power ml square t minus 3 is the dimensional formula of power okay it is not important for academic purpose children but important for future all competitive exams this one only this point only this point okay so these are the topics about the power now power have various formulas children power uh, electrical power is also there that i will discuss in 10th class but just basic power you see children so anyway power what did i define children rate of doing work and what is the formula to right by time and what is the unit i gave watts and what is the commercial unit horse power one horse power is equal to m per t and what is the dimensional formula ml square t minus 3 okay these are the basic points now power is equal to work to by time children work means energy also same work and energy both are equal i told you, you know so instead of work you can also say energy by time so no problem okay now children energy means which energy any energy no problem potential energy if you imagine mgh by t also you can write no problem if you take potential energy you can write mgh by t no problem will be there no sir i want kinetic energy means yes you can write Half mv square by t also you can write children. Okay, no sir, I won't write uh, work is equal to force into displacement. No, I write force into displacement means yes you can write force into displacement by time also you can write. Okay, children, suppose uh, sir, uh, this is uh, speed by time is uh, uh, yeah, this is displacement. So displacement by time is speed. No sir, I will use that formula means yes children you can use but uh, force into velocity you can use but if it is constant speed only you can. If it is constant speed only, you can use. If not, you can't use this formula. But these are the general formulas. You can say work by time. You can say energy by time. You can say mgh by time, potential energy by time. You can say kinetic energy by time. And uh, children, uh, you when you come, go to tenth class, you will also study the uh, other formulas of power are there. Children like uh, power is equal to v i is there. 
or is got i square r is there or is got v square by r this you need not to remember children just i am saying this you need not to remember but just i am saying in general class you study power is equal to v i v means voltage i means current i means current r means resistance v means voltage r means resistance okay i means what current v means what voltage potential r means what resistance so many uh, formulas will be there for power in higher classes also but uh, basically power is work by time rate of rate means by time children in physics rate means by time rate of doing work is called power work and energy are synonyms for children so energy by time potential energy by time uh, kinetic energy by time or uh, force into displacement by time displacement by time is a velocity you know f into v f into v also you can take but if it is constant speed then you can take the formula this many formulas are possible for power this many formulas are possible for power so children some sample formula some sample sums will do children sample very very easy easy sums i will teach you then we'll go uh, uh, extra sums children because i want to uh, discuss power numericals two days today and tomorrow also because power is very important for us okay on one one formula and one one sum i will say children basic numerical first numerical find the power of a boy boy Who is climbing stairs of height ten meters? And his mass, his mass is thirty kg in ten seconds. Simple subject, very very simple subject. The boy is there, thirty kg boy. He climbed a height of thirty meter, uh, ten meters. What is the power done by him? What is the power uh, power uh, dissipated by him? So children, power is equal to because height is given, mass is given. Can we take this formula, children? Yes, m g h by t. What is the mass, children? How much I give mass? Thirty kg. G always I told how much? Nine point eight. H is how much, children? Ten. And time how much I gave? Ten seconds. Ten ten cancel. Okay, children. So this will be three eight zero twenty four three nine zero twenty seven. Uh, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, two ninety-four watts. Answer is two ninety-four watts. Simple sum, children. Very, very easy sum. Basic level numerical. Five sums numerical. I will discuss five numerical. I will give it for you to practice. Okay. One more. Sir, two ninety-four horsepower, and acha. No, another. Another. If you want in horsepower, then you have to divide it two ninety-four by uh, uh, this one, seven forty-six. Then you will get in horsepower. If you want answer in uh, horsepower, divide this with seven forty six. Then you will get answer in horsepower. Horsepower is commercial unit, children. You should not use it. Please, now, okay? Try to understand all of you. Second sum. Find power of ten kg body moving with ten meters per second for five seconds. Five seconds. Okay, children. So power is equal to half m v square by t. Also, you can use. I said no, children. You can use half into mass. How much I give children? Ten kg. Velocity. How much I give? Ten square. Ten means ten into ten. By time. How much I give? Five. Okay, children. Two five is ten. This five, this five can cancel. Ten tens are hundred watts of power is dissipated. If you are moving with this much speed for this much time. Of this much weight body. This is the basic level function. Very very small numerical sum. Okay. Now one more sum. We will do children. One more numerical. Find power when hundred joules of work is done in two minutes. In two minutes. Hundred joules of work is done in two minutes. Minutes, I give children. Always you should take in uh, ma uh, like always we should take uh, time in seconds only. That is compulsory, children. Always you have to take time in seconds only. So minutes you have to convert into seconds. So how do you convert minutes to seconds? You all know. How do you convert children? Minutes to seconds. How do you convert children? Minutes into into six. Into six. So power is equal to one by time. How much work I give children? Hundred. And two minutes means two into sixty. So zero zero cancel two five zero. So five by six so that is zero point eight watts. Zero point eight watts. Okay, children, zero point eight watts. 
it is at the basic level some same discussing children from that time okay uh, the, uh, two more uh, some i will discuss children after discussing two more sums then i will give some numericals for you to practice two more numericals we'll discuss children okay fine okay a machine is there children a machine is there okay a machine is there one second uh use this one second children yes okay question how much power is needed how much power is needed okay uh, to lift a mass to lift a mass of 5 kg to a height of 5 kg to a height of 8 meters in 2 seconds this is the question this is the question the children power is equal to height is given mass is given so mgh by t you can use i told you no Mass is how much given, children? Five. Acceleration due to gravity, nine point eight. Height is how much, children? Eight. Time is how much? Two. Okay, children. So how much? Two fours are four fives are twenty. Nine point eight into twenty, one ninety six watts of power is needed, children. If you want to lift five kg weight to eight meters within two seconds, if you want to lift five kg weight. to height of 8 meters within 2 seconds you need a power of 196 watts you need a power of 196 watts uh, i hope you are able to understand children okay next one more sum will do children one more sum like this also sometimes they will give children right? see here Like this also, they will give in the form of electrical and electrical conduction. Don't worry, I will teach you again tomorrow also so many numericals because with five numericals I can't complete the power children. That's why just for today I'm giving for explaining five tomorrow also again I will discuss find power of find power of power consumed power consumed by a TV of five kilowatt hour. Five kilowatt hour in two minutes. Like this also questions will come, children. Like this also questions will come, children. Kilowatt hour means it is a unit of energy. Power is equal to energy by time. Power is equal to energy by time. How much uh, they give, children? Five kilowatt hour by time. Time how much, children? Two minutes. Children, because it is given hours here. Here also you should take in hours only. Can anyone say how to convert minutes to hours, children? Anyone? Can anyone say how to convert minutes to hours? Divide by sixty, sir. Divide by sixty. Fantastic. Divide by sixty. So by sixty means sixty will go up, children. Sixty will go up. Two thirty is a thirty into five is how much? One fifty kilowatt is the answer. Kilowatt hour is the unit of energy, children. Kilowatt one fifty kilowatt is the power of this TV. The TV power is this much. Power is equal to energy by time. You should know kilowatt hour is the unit of energy. I will teach that also, children, in this lesson only. What is kilowatt hour? Everything I will discuss in detail. Don't worry. Okay, children. Now I will give you five sums. All of you first copy down. Try to do. I will be asking one by one. All I will be giving five sums. All of you start doing. Or else, children, uh, in the worksheet it will be there, children. Uh, we will continue tomorrow, children. Eighth class students, sir. Uh, 